Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to talk about the latent pterygoid muscle. The latent pterygoid muscle, it is a key muscle in the intratemporal fossa. Why it is called key muscles? Because we are having many important structures will be present around the latent pterygoid muscles. So, latent pterygoid muscle consists of two heads. We are having upper head and lower head. So, this upper head is arises from the infratemporal surface of greater wing of sphenoid pole. Whereas, the lower head is arises from lateral surface of lateral pterygoid plate. And these two heads will be possess laterally and they are converge to form a narrow tendon and where it is get inserted, it is get inserted into the pterygoid fovea. The pterygoid fovea is nothing but it is a pit or depression which is present in the anterior aspect of the neck of the mandible. And also it is get inserted into the capsule of temporomandibular joint and also it is inserted into the articular disc. And when we talk about the nerve supply, it is direct supplied by nerve to later pterygoid, which is a branch of anterior division of mandibular nerve. Next, we'll go for the action. So, later pterygoid muscle, its main first action will be the depression of mandible, or you can say that is the opening of mouth. Our next action, the later pterygoid and middle pterygoid of both the side act together is responsible for protrusion of mouth. Our next action, the later pterygoid and middle pterygoid of the both the side contract alternately is responsible for side to side movement. So, the, these are the three main action of later pterygoid muscles. I already mentioned this is a key muscle in the infratemporal posa and let's see what are the structures emerging from the upper border and lower border and between the two heads of the later pterygoid muscle. In the upper border, we have three important structures will be emerging from the upper border. Number one will be the mesenteric nerve and deep temporal nerve and deep temporal vessels. So, these are the structures which is arises from the upper border. The lower border from anterior to posterior lingual nerve, inferior alveolar nerve and inferior alveolar vessels. So, these are the three structures which is arises from the lower border of later pterygoid muscles. Between the two heads, we have two structures. Number one will be the maxillary artery. Number two will be the buccal nerve. So, these are the structures present between the two heads of the later pterygoid muscles. So, this is about the later pterygoid muscles. Thank you. Thank you.